This is Bumper to Bumper TV. When it was first introduced to the North American market, the K900 from Kia could have been dubbed the Shadow, since it had the same dimensions and drivetrain of its corporate sibling, the Hyundai Equus. With a few differences in lighting packages and internal touches, it didn't generate a lot of excitement from drivers. By the time the latest version debuted, the difference was noticeable. The current version enjoys refreshed lines and a larger stance. There are additional high-end finishes visible, things that were missing from the first iteration. What Kia has done with the K900 is not what you usually expect from the brand, which is an economy car designed for families on a budget. With the K900, not only are they knocking on the door of the luxury segment, they've kicked it in and made themselves quite comfortable. The first place this is visible is the interior touch points, like in the center console, where wood grain finishes and brushed satin accents are evident. Technology is evident with drive mode controls and the advanced driver assistance systems as standard equipment. We really like the turn signal display, which activates a side view camera when engaged. Rear seat passengers are treated like royalty, legroom and headroom are abundant. Touch points in the second row also reflect attention to detail. Riders have multiple power position controls, and they can also control the entertainment system like a box. The drivetrain has also changed for the 2019 year. The V8 engine has been dropped in favor of a twin-turbo 3.3-liter V6. It cranks out 365 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque. In real-world driving, that means a very quick response from this full-size platform. It can operate on regular unleaded, but premium fuel makes a major difference. The test model came with an upgraded 8-speed automatic transmission that was part of an all-wheel drive system. Throw in dynamic torque vectoring, and the K900 handles like a sports sedan. Considering its size and weight, we found the K900 delivers respectable fuel economy. Did we like the week of seat time in the K900? Without a doubt, yes. Will Kia also create its own luxury division with this as the centerpiece? Not likely at this time. What is clear with the K900 as its flagship vehicle, Kia is reinforcing its position as a global brand offering a full line of passenger cars for nearly every segment. This is Greg Morrison.